An attempted break-in at a woman's house led authorities to a massive bust after they found a stash of stolen goods. Sheriff de deputies rather say it appears some of the crooks were even living off of the stolen property with everything from swiped home decor and furniture to expensive equipment furnishing their home. Now the hunt is on for the rightful owners. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in the Newsplex with more. Crystal, when sheriff's deputies located a suspect's vehicle, they found much more than they bargained for, and the number of potential victims is growing. It looks um, like a, a scene from American Pickers, antiques, dining room furniture, even an old motorcycle. But Roosevelt County Sheriff's deputies suspect most, if not all, of this stuff is stolen. And they've stolen clothes, they've stolen guns, microwaves, living room furniture, uh, antiques, uh, family heirlooms, coins. Just pretty much anything and everything that wasn't nailed down, they would take. And that isn't even everything. Deputies have been loading the stolen gear onto Connex boxes for inventory. Deer heads, gaming supplies, electronics all packed up. One victim says this stolen painting is worth a thousand bucks. So far, two men have been arrested, 60-year-old Robert Wiltsey and 25-year-old Javier Ornelas. But investigators are still building what they say is a big case. So far, uh, we've emptied out well over a semi load of property from the house. We've identified at least 20 burglaries. It was all uncovered after a woman called 911 when someone was trying to break into her house. A vehicle description led authorities to this home and lots of stolen loot. Investigators say it appears the burglars even furnished their own home with the pilfered products. I mean, the paintings on the walls in this house were stolen, the, the area rugs and the floor were stolen, the dining room table. Parker says this area has seen a spike in burglaries in recent months, and this big bust could be a big lead. So far, victims from Cochran, Bailey, and Roosevelt counties have come forward, combing through items, trying to find what's been taken from them. We found uh, items from home burglaries, from business burglaries. Um, these guys were pretty indiscriminate. Although there's still a lot to do, deputies say several cases may have been solved in this one bust. Investigators say they have linked some of the items in this case bust to at least a year old. Officials are now hoping the rightful owners will come forward. Potential victims can go to the sheriff's office to verify their stolen items. Back to you. All right, thanks, Gabrielle. Deputies say they do expect to make more arrests in this case and more charges are pending.